Hello everyone. As you can see, I am here at SHOT Show 2016. I'm having a gr what? What? You don't believe me? You don't believe I'm at SHOT Show? Well, I can prove it. I mean, look right over there. There goes James Yeager. I'm just kidding. That's not really James Yeager. We all know James Yeager doesn't wear a hat. I'm not really at SHOT Show right now, but by the time you see this video, I will be at SHOT Show. And before I left, I wanted to take a moment to address something I said in a video earlier. In one of my videos a couple of days ago, I said that one of the best advantages of a revolver is the inherent accuracy of a fixed barrel coupled with a light single action trigger. And when I was talking about that, I said, for those times that you need to put a bullet right between someone's shoulder blades at 40 yards, it's a perfect gun to do that with. Now, a lot of people freaked out. They're like, oh my God, you're going to shoot someone that's fleeing, or you're going to commit murder, or you're going to go to jail. And I'm like, really? That's all you can think about when I said that? That's all you can think? Those are the only circumstances where I'd be shooting a fleeing person or someone that didn't deserve to be shot? Really? It never crossed your mind that you might find yourself in a mass shooter situation or maybe even a terrorist attack situation? Now, some people might say that's kind of being alarmist, but you know, that's the reality. The reality is that those events are more likely to occur now than ever before. That doesn't make them likely, it just makes them more likely than they were before. And let's face it, I know a lot of people love to train for the, you know, the up-close and personal confrontation where they get to seem all manly, you know, the bang, 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 you know, two in the body, two in the head kind of crap. But, you know, that is not very likely to happen. No gunfight very likely to happen, but that kind of gunfight is not only unlikely to happen, but it can be avoided. Just common sense situational awareness can avoid 99.9% .9 of those types of situations. Don't go into dangerous places. Don't go to places at bad times of day. Don't go places by yourself. Just simple good choices and being aware of what's going on around you can avoid the vast majority of those problems. Don't look for trouble and you probably won't find it. Actively look to not get in trouble and you probably will succeed. But mass shooter situations and terrorist situations, those are completely different. No amount of situational awareness is going to prevent those from happening. Short of staying home and never going out in public, you can't avoid the type of situations that might happen as far as a mass shooting or a terrorist attack is concerned. The whole point of these types of events is that they occur in common places where people gather. No one expects trouble. It's a place that's assumed to be safe. These people come there not to get away with something, not to take your wallet, but to kill people and likely be killed in the process. And let's face it, they're not bringing LCPs or concealed carry guns to these events. They're bringing ARs, shotguns, other long guns, multiple handguns, and so on. So chances are, like I've said in other videos, you're going to be outgunned. And when you're outgunned, your best chance is going to be tactics. And if you can put a bullet in someone's back, while they're not looking at you and they can't see where you're at, that's going to be your best chance at survival and success. I don't know if people are hung up on some sort of cowboy mentality that I'm going to look a man in the eyes when I shoot him. That's stupid. If that's the way you think you've got to fight, yeah, I don't want to be on your side when the shit hits the fan because that's not a good mindset to be in. That's the kind of thinking that might put you in a situation where you can't win when you could have won if you'd have just used better tactics if you'd have fought smarter. A true good guy has no problem dropping a bad guy from a distance by shooting him in the back. We're not looking to be heroes. We're not looking to be saviors. We're looking to stop a bad guy, period. So if you're one of those people that freaked out when I said something about shooting someone in the back the other day and you couldn't possibly conceive of when that would be just, I ask you to sit down and reevaluate your position. Maybe broaden your mind a little bit because you too might find yourself in a situation someday where you don't get to be all manly. You actually have to fight in the smartest way possible.